all doing? Welcome to this Enlight tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make um, what's called graffiti art. I really, really enjoy this tutorial. It looks really cool, and you can make some um, some great effects with your own sort of images. So, I'm just going to use this. This is how it starts off. I'm going to use this um, image here, and we're going to sort of um, sort of make some uh, make some um, a graffiti type wall with this image based inside the wall. So um, so let's get on and do it. And the first thing that we need to do is um, always try and for this, if you're gonna use a, a white wall like this that I've got on the screen, always try and use your base image. If, you, if it's an image of yourself, you're gonna do it to a picture of yourself. Then try and get a smooth light behind you, um, sort of a, a clearer light behind you. Um, just because it would be that the foreground would be a bit brighter then but it doesn't really matter too much It's because we're gonna move the um, we're gonna remove the background anyway in the parts that we don't want so let's get on um, So we're gonna take this image here, and we're gonna go um, um, We're gonna go to um, our tools or our sidebar and we're gonna go to artistic first and after we've gone artistic we can go painting and then we're going to select the tools tab down here at the bottom. And then we're going to select basic. And what we want to do now is select our restore on the right hand side here and drag our restore up to around between 60 and 80. Um, just so you, you can see right away you get this um, sort of crayon type image. Um, sort of as though it's been chalk drawed, maybe crayon drawed. On, but yeah, I've got the I've got the restore on on 70, 67, 70, um, between 70, 60, and, and 80, whatever you're happy with. And then we're going to um, select the brightness. Again, these settings might change from picture to picture. So um, with the brightness, I'm going to sort of drag our brightness up to about around 45, yeah, 45. And then I'm going to go contrast and drag this. Um, to around 64 and all I am sort of after is to bring out this red part on his hand and the hair the lighter parts the pink part of the of the um, of the hair but then make these shadows on the left hand side a little bit darker and that's what I've done with the restore the brightness and the contrast by adjusting them so I'm then just gonna click the little tick button at the top right hand side and that's that image um, finished for the time being. I'm then going to select our next image, which is the wall image here. And then I'm going to open up my um, my side bar again and go tools, mixer, and then add this image, select the image I want to add to it. So I'm just going to zoom in with this image just for now, just a little bit, and then I'm going to go tools and arrays. And I'm just going to remove the parts of the image, of the model image, that I don't want. And I want a bit of his shoulder, I want some of his arm, but the rest I am going to remove by simply swiping my finger over where I want to erase. If I want to zoom in and get really close like so, I just pinch and squeeze and zoom in, and then carefully go around. And you notice I'm not zoomed in too much and I'm not being overly careful because I'm actually going to mix blend this image with the wall anyway so I'm not too fussed so somebody asked me a question I'm going to continue just to do this and talk somebody asked me a question um, on one of my other enlarged tutorials about, about um, how he struggled with hair and erasing from around hair well the key is well there is no real secret it's just about zooming in as much as you can and it depends how critical you want to be with yourself zooming in as much as you can and just going slowly and it really is um, if you really want to be um, very specific it really is sort of a painstaking exercise but you can see that I've made quite a good job there and and not really paid too much attention not really paid um, I, I should imagine if you're talking about single hairs um, and you want it to be you're really really critical with it then it is going to be difficult but it's just um, a case of, of taking your time it really is just zooming in as much as you can and taking your time and remember if you make a mistake like 
I swipe into his hair like this. You could just simply either click the back button or if I make that mistake again, I could click the add and add that part back in. So I'm gonna select the erase button again to continue removing this background. And like I said, I am actually going to mix this image with the wall eventually. So I'm not overly concerned about how well or how poorly I do this. So when you zoom out, you will always find more. And I think roughly, ooh, I want to add this bit back here. Look, I think roughly this is this is yeah roughly where where yeah roughly where I want to be like so let's get rid of this all this around the outside like I said when you zoom out you always find extras that you've missed okay so I'm quite happy that I've achieved I've removed all the background that I want to remove um, so then I'm just going to um, go blending mode and you can you can use any blending mode really but I just want to use this multiply um, you could obviously change it and and you can, like I said you can use any blending mode it really does depend on you but I just want to use this multiply and ramp it up to um, keep it on 100 and then I'm going to get this image here I'm just gonna click my click my tools again so I can just change the image um, select double click the the model image and just move it to where I want to move it and resize it to the size that I want it to be. And I'm happy with this. Once I'm happy with the size and everything else, I'm just gonna click the tick button. So it's quite important that you are happy with the size, the position of the piece and the blending mode of the piece that you're, uh, that you're using. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're going to um, open our menu bar and we're going to go to our, um, close our tools down and go to our brushes. And then we're gonna go to um, our effects. And then in these effects, uh, um, first and foremost, I'm just gonna get this, this effect here next to the hearts. And I'm just gonna dab around the outside. Just touch the screen, around the outside, tap the screen, try not to get any on the model or the image in the middle. So I just click back because I have done so. And I'm not gonna go over the top, just sort of like that, I'm quite happy with that. And then I'm gonna go along to these paint drips down here. I'm gonna to click tools, I'm gonna to click set brush, and I'm gonna up the size of the brush, just for the time being, to around 80s. And um, the opacity, I'm gonna keep on 87, I'm quite happy with 87. Um, and then I'm gonna select tools again, Make sure I've got my brush selected here. And then zoom in a little bit. And all I'm gonna do is drag down this model's hands to make, to give me this, this paint drip. And I want this paint drip all the way from this model's hands like so. I'm going back on that one, I'm not happy with that one. But I also want to do the front of this model's hair. So I'm gonna set brush again, select the size 82, and bring that back down to around 40, 45, somewhere along that. Click tools again, and then just dab on the front, um, not too much, like so. Yep, quite happy with that. Um, and once again, once I'm happy by zooming in and out of, of the model and getting the paint right, I'm gonna click the little tick button up the top right hand side and then I'm going to look at my image. What I could have done actually, go back to my um, brushes and my effects. I could have also added a few more so say this one on the end I could have just again dabbed a bit too close to the model, I don't want it that close. Dabbed around the outside just some more sort of graffiti patterns like so. Um, if you go tools Set the brush, drag the size up a little bit, it'll give you a, a bit of a different size. Click tools again, you get a bit of a different size, like so. So, this is the amount of graffiti that I want on as well. Now, all I'm going to do to finish this off, I'm gonna click the little um, tick button to say that I'm happy with this. I'm gonna close my um, brushes, 
open up my text, type, and scroll along to find like a, a written type font. And um, let's find a font that, that looks as though it's sort of done in crayon. This looks good. Long press to edit, type in my desired text. Happy, click done. Scale it up a little bit, rotate it, drag it to where I want to drag it, like so. And then I'm gonna go tools, change the color, just so it matches that model's hand a little bit more closely, like so. And then I'm gonna go blending. Um, and um, again, I'm gonna go um, multiply. Yeah, okay, so we'll go, we could go color burn. No, no, we could go multiply, I think. We'll go multiply. Then I'm gonna go mask. And then I'm going, going to go wipe, have wipe selected, and just wipe out the part there. In fact, apply that back. Just wipe it out a little bit. So it looks, the text looks a bit, a bit faded or a bit, a bit worn away. Once I'm happy with what I've got on the text, I'm gonna click the little text button, the little, the little um, tick button. And then I'm gonna go to um, my, close down my text, open up my filters, go to analog filter, and then this filter here, Oh, the candela looks quite nice. Look, brightens it up really nice. Fuji also looks really cool. But the one I'm looking for is this um, Brig at the top, like so. This is the uh, this is the look that I'm wanting. Not too bright. Drag that down to around 47. Click the little tick button. Save that out. Save photo. And there you have it, an awesome graffiti image with some um, paint drips burnt into a wall that you can do yourself, you can apply for yourself onto whatever image it is that you, um, that you want to do that. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I really enjoy making this effect. I think it's a really cool effect um, with a great app, of course. Um, in a couple of weeks, I'll, um, I'll do another Pixelmator and this 3D Max is the um, is the effect that we're going to look at for that so so yeah look forward to that coming in a couple of weeks um i'll try and do a motion five one next week probably but yeah i hope you've um, enjoyed this tutorial thanks a lot for watching i'll catch you all again soon Bye.